Well, there is a new exhibit coming to the Museum of Science and History that will intrigue <laughs> dinosaur lovers of all ages. It opens on Saturday and meteorologist Robert Spetta got a preview. He's all excited about this. He's on your side giving you a look behind the scenes. Temperatures are warming up across the first coast, but there is an exhibit at Mosh that might cool you down. It's called Ice Dinosaurs. Grand opening on Saturday is a brand new exhibit from Imagine Exhibitions uh, called Ice Dinosaurs, the Lost World of the Alaskan Arctic. This is a world premiere and those who attend on opening day, March 9th, will be the first to see these ice dinos. So th that can be a little deceiving when it's titled Ice Dinosaurs. It's really focusing on the Prince Creek Formation in northeastern Alaska, which in uh, prehistoric terms is relatively young. Where they are discovering these fossils is a relatively new area for archaeologists, thus getting us a new look at these creatures, which you might be curious, why do some have fur and feathers? One, the climate. If it was a lizard-like, cold-blooded animal, would have been impossible for it to survive those winters. Um, but two, uh, I mentioned the quill knobs on the velociraptor skeletons earlier, uh, very similar for supporting hair follicles. On opening day, one of the supervisors from the exhibition that did most of the research on these 14 different species will be attending to help answer questions and looking ahead. So we want the Northeast Florida communities to get very used to that as a, uh, you know, the reputation that Mosh is building of being a world-class museum for Jacksonville is that we get the best exhibits and we get them first. So if you're interested in science and maybe you want to check out a new exhibit at Mosh, come out and check out the Ice Dinos. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.